In the journey of life, it's crucial to recognize the significance of surrounding ourselves with people that uplift us and empower us rather than those that diminish our very sense of self, our self-worth, or our esteem. Christian values emphasize an importance of nurturing our own well-being while at the same time considering others. So I'm putting together 12 ways to prioritize your aspirations without compromising your Christian values and at the same time considering others. Number one is to establish clear boundaries. You have to set boundaries that protect your time, energy, and emotional well-being. Recognize when a relationship starts to encroach upon your personal space and values. Number two, seek guidance from scripture. You can turn to the Bible for wisdom in many circumstances and many scriptures throughout the Bible. Many Psalms, I love. Proverbs 4.23, for an example, reminds us to guard our hearts as they are the wellsprings of our life. Number three is pray for discernment. Praying for discernment and seeking divine guidance through prayer is a formidable action. Asking for discernment to recognize the troubles inside of relationships or anything that you're going through within your relationship that may lead you away from your purpose and your own values. Number four, value your God-given purpose. Within Heartworks, acknowledging that you have a unique purpose in God's plan is paramount to your success in any endeavor. You want to cultivate your talents. You want to pursue your aspirations with a strong sense of purpose. And that strong sense of purpose is for the Lord. You want to value that God-given purpose. You want to cultivate it. And you want to work on your talents and your skills every day. Number five is be independent and self-reliant. It's crucial to develop a a self-reliant independence where you're understanding that your identity is rooted in Christ. Strive for personal growth without compromising your Christian principles. Number six, avoid negative influences. Identify relationships that cast doubt on your abilities or devalue your aspirations. You want to surround yourself with positive influences that encourage your spiritual and personal growth. Number seven is cultivating a positive mindset. Embracing a positive mindset by focusing on Philippians 4.8, dwelling on things that are true noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. You want to focus on these things. So encompass them into your heart's value. What to you is true. What to you is a noble thing to do. And right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Number eight is prioritizing emotional healing. If hurt or emotional turmoil has ensnared your heart, turn to God for healing. In Psalms 34, 18, it all assures us that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Focus on your emotional healing and prioritize that within your heart works and your heart's value. Number nine is to practice forgiveness. Forgive those who may have contributed to your emotional turmoil. Matthew 6, 14 through 15 reminds us that forgiveness is essential for receiving God's own forgiveness. 
sometimes this can be a hard one, depending on the circumstances. I'm having a hard time. Sometimes with forgiving people for their actions, their behaviors. But as a Christian, you you forgive them. And you try to move into a place that doesn't allow that to continue. But when it does, it goes back to the first one, the boundaries. They get broken and sometimes even the smallest lie can can encompass the largest trust that we have in other people. So number 10 is to surround yourself with a positive community. You want to connect with a Christian community, one that supports you in your journey, one that encourages your spiritual and personal growth, one that does not, you know, put put on any kind of shackles <laughs> for me to be able to get out from under type of feeling. You need people to connect with that support you within your Christian walk. And especially in these times that we're living in, the things that people can do that are, you know, like really nice things that people can do is, is paramount because when they go out of their way and they actually help somebody out in that fashion, sometimes it's the only thing that that person has in their day. That just that small act of kindness that you did the only thing in their day that made their day. Nothing else did. But it's that one unnoticeable thing that you did that changed, that changed somebody. That helped them. Helped them breathe easier. Helped them feel lighter. Number 11 is engaging in acts of kindness. Show kindness to others, reflecting the love of Christ. Acts of kindness not only benefit others, but they contribute to your own emotional well-being as well. Who doesn't feel good about giving? If you don't feel good about giving, then that's something that you need to work out. Engage in those acts of kindness, even if it's just something small. What I've what I like to do when I see like a homeless person is the next place I go to, I'll just ask them. Do you guys would you guys have enough to be able to feed a homeless guy? And oftentimes you'll get no. And sometimes you'll get a yeah. And then you just grab a meal or if you're able to find that person and ask them what they would want done both but sometimes it's just that meager three four minutes extra in your time that can change someone's day and repair what might be broken in at least a small way those acts of kindness can go along a long way number 12 is to renew your mind through scripture in this, we want to transform your thinking by renewing your mind through God's own word. Within the Bible, meditate on the passages that reinforce your worth and purpose. There's many. So, prioritize, prioritize yourself in, 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 in this life and make your well-being and independence in alignment with Christian values. Guard your heart against influences that may lead you astray and through, through your prayer life and through scripture and intentional actions with intentional living, you can repair your emotional turmoil and walk confidently in the path, path that God has set for you. I can understand in times it might be difficult and it is going to get difficult, but in that difficulty, just know that there is no diamond created under 
Not enough pressure. There's a lot of pressure that is made to create that diamond. So just know that when you're up against things and you're going through a spiritual battle and you're fighting things, you're trying to move into areas of utter darkness of the world. And I think it's a commendable thing to, to, to do. And moving into that those areas and actually trying to do something for it is commendable beyond words. I've had a few stories of my own where acts of kindness had helped me immensely and especially in the times I was in. So by just channeling your mind in this way is going to help you to establish better relationships and even where relationships fail on you it gives you the discernment to be able to determine what your next moves are and sometimes it can be hard but prioritize your well-being and in that I just want to say that focused on Christ on Christ living and doing the right thing and walk walk with God and invite that life invite that prayer life into your night even if it's five minutes even if it's two minutes but the more time that you can give towards your deliverance and your prayer life is going to matter and make it make a difference and make an impact on your life and sometimes it's not it's not going to be pretty that's the spiritual battle that we face so I hope everyone out there goes through these 12 principles or 12 ways that they can prioritize their own aspirations towards Adding those Christian values into your life that can change change your world from within you and the way you carry yourself, and that matters. It matters so much to me, I could care less how people think of me. I'm moving in a direction I want to move in, and I don't care what people think of it. So that's my my truth in, in this Heartworks, and... I hope that you guys guard your hearts and add value where you can. Thank you for meeting that you guys are here. So, hope you guys have a good night or a good morning or whatever you're going through on with your day that you attack it with fortitude. That grind in the Christian line, faith in our hearts like that bright sunshine, building a legacy one step at a time. On that grind, yeah, we're on that steady climb, independent, strong with the mountains peak. In the valleys and trials where we rise up, we speak. Got no room for the doubt, gotta be unique in this focus in the grind, and not turning the other cheek. Praying in the morning before the day begins, casting away our doubts and the breaking the sins. Putting our armor of God on the rhythm of life where the spirit spins We're focusing on that grind where the redemption begins this time We're focused on that grind in the Christian line With faith in our hearts like a bright sunshine Building up a legacy one step at a time Oh yeah, we're on that grind, we climb it all the time 
eyes on the prize with the faith in our stride through every struggle and storm no we won't hide focused on that guide with god is our only guide in his graces we'll continue to confide in in the hustle and the struggle to find our way focused on that grind yeah every single day self-value is high this time we're taking no time to sway the christian values leading come what may